Okay. We'll start with the usual, which is, I mean, obviously the result you wanted, but performance-wise, tell me about that today. Yeah, I mean, the result was the, the, the main thing, obviously. You know, we wanted to progress in the FA Cup. And, um, you yeah, know, some, some great bits of play from us. Obviously, you know, I think the three goals in the space of about 10 minutes, second half, you know, made the game quite comfortable for us. But, um, you know, delighted with the boys because, as I said, um, coming up to this game, you know, we, ha we haven't been great in September. Some of the performances have been OK, but we, you know, when you lose games of football, what, what, if you, you know, you, that sort of affects confidence. And, you know, we needed a win and we got it today. And uh, just really, really pleased to be through to the next round. Some really great performances though, I mean some play that we probably haven't seen from City for a while, they were really communicating well, really playing well together, what's made that difference? Well, I think you just got to keep working and all we can do as coaches is just keep trying to advise the players and you know just tweak little things and I think that's all it was really. I don't think we've been miles away this season. I mean even though we've lost a few games recently nobody's sort of hammered us or you know we, we've been competitive in most games but we've just been coming off the wrong end of tight tight sort of game so no we just sort of haven't changed anything major we just had a little chats to individual players and obviously today we brought in Robson you know and I think he made a difference and Cabby went through the middle and obviously got a hat trick. So, um, you know, yeah, just little tweaks to the team and uh, just pleased for the boys, really, because they're a good bunch and, um, you know, they deserve their victory today. And, I mean, good history for you guys in the FA Cup as well. So, I mean, I suppose you've got to try and keep last year's experiences out of your mind, but draw from that as yeah, well. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. I think maybe that's helped us knowing that we've done it before and we can do it again. And I think you can draw on that, as you say. But you have to take every sort of game at a time. I mean... The draw was on Monday, so again, we're just, you know, luck of the draw a little bit when you're in cup competitions, and um, we'll see who we get. But it's just great that we're in the next round, and um, pleased for the supporters as well, you know, because we haven't really given them a great deal to cheer about over the last sort of three, four weeks, and um, it's always nice to uh, celebrate the victory. I can uh, go home and actually enjoy the rest of my weekend for once, yeah. Tell me about the draw. I'm always intrigued as to where people hear it, watch it, or do whatever. What's, what's your routine? Yeah, well, I should think I'll probably be here at the club, actually. Um, so, yeah, we'll just sort of be glued to the internet, I think, and, uh, you know, we'll, you know, for me and some of the staff might be sort of looking at it together, but, um, yeah, we, you know, that's something to look forward to, and um, obviously, as I've said previously, I think you sort of, you know, we'll, we'll like to get another home draw. Our home record's been pretty good here over recent weeks, so home draw would be nice, and uh, I do think we can give anybody a good game down here at Marsh Lane. And, and the fact that it was Dartford today, I mean, you've got them in a couple of weeks' time. History with them hasn't been brilliant. I think we go back to 2015 yeah. since the last win with them. Okay, yeah. is, this, um, is this the confidence that you need getting back into the league? I hope so. I hope we can get some confidence from that. And, um, you know, that's, uh, that's all you can do. But no game is the same. You know, it's going to totally, be a totally different type of game against Concord next Saturday. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to make sure we train well, prepare well this week and see what we can do, you know, come three o'clock next Saturday. But, um, yeah, we just got to keep our feet on the ground, look at all the good things we did, try and replicate that. I thought there was some good uh, penetration and pace in our front line. Uh, I was pleased with Joe Osler today. I thought he was back on his game today, Joe. Not that he's been poor, but today he was very dominant. You know, he won a lot of headers. You know, and that type of thing gives us a chance as a team. Um, shame we couldn't quite keep, keep the clean sheet there. I think Kingy was disappointed. Just We just conceded that one there. But um, I'm sure Paul won't be disappointed because he won't have to pay any clean sheet bonuses. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, but there we go. Now, we want to keep clean sheets. And I always say zeros and ones, again, this gives us a chance. And, uh, yeah, really pleased. And in terms of personnel, in terms of um, the guys, everyone sort of fit and ready for, for next week? Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, I don't think anyone's got any knocks or anything today. We'll see. I mean, I, I, the lads can go and enjoy enjoy their their, their weekend and um, enjoy the victory. And we'll be in training again Tuesday and and keep keep working. But uh, yeah, really pleased. Matt Patterson missing today. Is he back in next week? Well, the situation with Matt. I mean. Um, yeah, I, you know, apologies that I haven't kept everybody in, informed. I mean, you know, we, we have had a couple of offers here uh, uh, with Matt in terms of other clubs sort of showing interest in him. Now, you know, I want to make it clear that it, it's not Matt that's initiated it at all. You know, he, he's happy here. But I do think looking at it over the last week or so that we needed to change a few bits in, within our team. Now, um, you know, so we are looking at that. I didn't think it was right to have Matt involved today. You know, that isn't, as I say, that's my decision, you know, and uh, we've got to sort of look at that over the next couple of days. Now, 
you know, I think we need strengthening in two or three different positions. And um, to do that, you know, like any club at our level, we have to balance the books. And if players are coming in, players have got to go out, and um, which is totally understandable. Matt is obviously an asset for us. There's obviously interest in Matt because of his, you know, top goal scorer last year. And, um, you know, as a club, we've sort of really looked at that and, and we've really agreed that, that, that he can move on. Uh, now, it's a big decision, it's a big call because, you know, people might look at that and say, well, you're top goal scoring, you know, but, you know, I do think that we need strengthening in a couple of different positions and I think the dynamic of the team needed changing. And what I didn't want to do is just keep accepting the same type of thing every week. You know, we didn't win a league game in September and I was looking at it and I thought that we might need somebody else in at centre half, we need a wide player, we might even need another striker. And to, to bring these players in, I, I have to balance the books and that's quite understandable. So, you know, Matt has been very, very professional. You know, he's a very good lad. It's nothing personal. Um, but, you know, I'd be very surprised if um, in the next sort of three or four days, you know, if Matt hasn't moved on. And if he does, you know, he goes with our sincere best wishes and uh, he's been a very good player for us. But sometimes it's not always about individual players. It's about the balance of the team. And I think, you know, with Cavi through the middle today, I mean, he scored a hat-trick. You know, he looked threatening. Bobson, the new signings, come in and made two and scored one. You know, and um, you know we have to have a look at that. And uh, you know, we, we're hopeful of bringing a player that we had in on loan here last year back to the club this week. And as I keep saying, we can't be bringing in two, three players in which which are help the team. We have to make sure then that we look and, and, and see how we can balance the books. And um, you know, I totally understand that. So um, in an ideal world, we'd all, obviously all like to have a big squad of quality players and two players for every position. But you know, we're not obviously going to get that. So. Um, you know, that's the situation with Matt. You know, he is still an Oxford City player. He is still under contract, but there are there is significant interest in him. And um, you know, as a club, we 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 we've sort of given our blessing for him to to move on because really we think that might help strengthen us in other areas. And final one from me then, just looking ahead, Concord at the weekend back into league shape. You know, what's the plans there in terms of? feeding off the back of success today, I guess? Yeah, just, you know, um, try and take the confidence that we've got uh, from today into that game. Concord are quite a physical side, you know, they, um, uh, they got some good players, I think signed a lot of players in the summer and started the season off quite well. But, um, yeah, we'll start planning for sort of Concord maybe in the next couple of days. And uh, as I say, no game's the same and I'm sure it'll be a very, very tough test for us next week.